British Jack was brought down on October 1st, 1960. We had surrendered as kings to be romanced by kisses from the free sun. But deep in the heart of Mama's jollof rice was a taste of revenge from hands meant to hold us still and safe. We broke free from that insane freedom that turned us into a pack of wolves. Our tribes became tasteless and our young hated our breast milk. But that war was far from over beyond the 1990s. Into a passenger's telephone business, the internet now born gave us new taste of freedom in many other ways. Our iPods, our iPhones, our SIM parts, our laptops, our serving million cash cows, our cameras, our phones, our tattoos, our birds, our dregs, our short skirts, and our swag. These things are gifts we give ourselves to make us forget the dungeon of a place we call home. We are not a shadow of your fears that poverty should have long killed our spirits. We are not swat or sars these men who silently activate rascality in open spaces. We are not to be called dead, shot, criminals by men who cannot wear a green and white with pride. We are that generation reinventing how milk should taste by children of nobody stepping on different thongs, on different tribes, on different dishes, and of a single desire to end this madness. For how else? And we call a nation that takes away your pot and is so angry. And you are eating from your neighbor's pot. Ah.